Hello, this is Kerrigan, and I have another video for you today. Yes, it is the middle of a pandemic. Yes, it has been a long time since I've done a video, but I'm feeling a little bit better these days. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's been a little crazy here. My father, um, my father and my sister got the Rona. My father was in the hospital. He's fine. Um, we were tested before two weeks ago, and we came out negative, my wife and I, and we are going to go get tested again tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be another negative test, um, which would be great. Uh, so anyway, but in the meantime, I have a really fun video for you today. I've been working on this for a while. It's an idea that I had a, a while ago. Um, I did a search for it and I didn't really see any other videos um, just on this topic. I've seen ones that sort of mention it, but I wanted to talk about it a little bit more. Um, I'm going to be talking about color indexing and color indexing is in short. It basically just means that a um, that a, a pencil, the pencil or paint or whatever, the, the different mediums across a company's brand will all, the colors will all match. And, um, you'll see in the video exactly what I mean. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Let me do, um, a little bit of an intro before I get to it and I'll show you how it works with the fabric Castell, and then we'll look at the, um, the video where I did the swatching. Um, yes, th this table is more of a mess than it's typical, but it's a pandemic and it is what it is right now. Um, so these are the Albrecht Durr pencils and the ones on the bottom are the polychromos. And what you'll see is across the lines, the names and the colors will match. So you can see these two. So this is the watercolor pencil. And this is the polychromos and you can see that they match number and color and um, we'll turn over to the um, the swatching videos where I'll swatch 24 colors I think and then I'll talk more about color indexing um, how it works and some fun things you can do with color indexing all right so what I did here is pretty simple I just took uh, 24 colors and I swatched them both in the polychromos and the Albrecht Durr watercolor pencils from Faber-Castell um, so that you could see that when you lay them down they both look the same but once you start swatching them uh, once you apply water you can pretty quickly see which one is the polychromos and which one is the watercolor pencil. So anyway, so color indexing basically means that the name um, or the number or sometimes the name and number will match across all of a brand's line of products now or sometimes just a few. So for Karen Dosh, it's the super color and the Pablos that match the same way that you see here. Um, for Faber-Castell, it's pretty much across their entire line, which is pretty amazing. Watercolor, uh, watercolor pencil, watercolor markers, pastel pencils, watercolor markers, um, but it can also include other products like watercolor paints, um, oil paints, you know, just so that you can work in a, in a mixed media. And this is really, like I, this is, like I said, this is really good for mixed media but it also works really well for things like, for example, if you wanted to do the underpainting for a watercolor pencil, for a colored pencil um, sketch, you could do it in the um, Albrecht Durr watercolor pencils and then um, go on top of it and finish the colored pencil part with the polychromos. You could do something like that. Um, you could pretty much do anything that you that you can imagine with this um, this is also really helpful for trying to learn a new medium so let's say you started with colored pencil and you want to learn what a colored pencil you can basically take what you know and the colors that you're used to using and you can use them into the um the colored pencil or the other or pastel pencils or whatever other medium you want to use so you don't have to relearn a whole new palette you already know the palette you already know like how it works and it doesn't have to be you know quote unquote expensive materials like um like the polychromos and the albert durs um crayola also does this with their and their color matching is actually pretty good um some notable brands do not do any color brand any color matching derwent doesn't really do any color matching 
um, for the Caran d'Ache, the Luminance, and the Museum Aquarelles. Some colors match, but not all of them. Um, so it's a very like hit and miss, but definitely with the super color, the Neo Pastels and the Pablos, they all match the same way. Um, so this is something that I haven't really seen that many people illustrate or even talk about, but I wanted to show you here so you can see just how far something like this can take you. Um, and so you can see it sort of ap applied in sort of a semi real world setting, um, and something that you know like what it is next time you see it as you're looking at what to buy um so i'll be right back with some closing statements on this and uh that's it see color indexing is not particularly complicated um but it is really fun and it, is, it does make working in uh, multimedia really much much easier it also makes working you know trying new things like really fun and it, it's pretty much a thing where you could just let your imagination run wild and you could just do whatever um so and i hadn't seen it really talked about so i thought i would bring it up and do just a quick video on it um let me know if you have any other questions on color indexing or um, any other kind of video that you want to see down in the comments and i hope everyone is staying safe um during this trying time and um that's it i will see you guys next time bye